Welcome to The Four, sponsored by ZDAX. I am your host, Brian. First killer was unable to beat Ixo yesterday, and will need a winter day if he hopes to face Fairy Peak. This will be OSM's debut in The Four, let's not just kinda forget about his history as a top 1v1 player. Let's see who can take the series. First killer is back to take on another top European 1v1 talent. His first series, although close, did not go in his favor. And so he really needs a win here to keep his hopes of a Lord Games appearance alive. But that's not a good start. OSM with a double jump pop takes the lead at the near post. And after talking to first killer about his first series in this tournament, he had a lot to say about Ixo's flicks and his ball control, his ground play. So that's the thing he's most scared about, going up against the European players. And all of you who are aware of OSM specialities will know that flicks are definitely part of his offensive repertoire. And that's a pretty good start for OSM. Although the flick didn't make it into the back of the net directly, first killer's position was really, really bad. And that has got to have first killer pretty worried already now in the EXO series he was able to dictate the pace for large parts of it that was the battle funnily enough EXO was the one trying to slow down the game and first killer was the one trying to run away with it but will he be able to do that to OSM who of course is one of the other players in the world who has been able to dominate matches just purely based on mechanics and speed in the past. Now, First Killer has an option to shoot long. OSM actually shuts it down really well. I can't imagine that First Killer saw that coming. However, First Killer with the demos managed to keep that ball out of the net. What a save by First, and he's going to get the opening goal for himself. And that's a really, really big swing. OSM must have thought that he'd done enough to put that one into the net. It was almost on target with the initial roll, and... After First Killer got the demo, it must have been pretty close to an own goal. That is exactly what we want to see as neutral spectators, a close game. First Killer backs up OSM, but actually carries on through. Not sure if he was looking for the ball or a bump there, but OSM has managed to take both away from him and put the ball into the net once again. Although the flick wasn't the shot, it's still an effective maneuver in the midfield to get the ball past First Killer, who doesn't have a good answer yet for OSM's flicks. You know, after receiving such a hefty one when he conceded his second goal, it's possible that First Killer is worried about shadowing OSM because of the potential distance that OSM could have on any of his flicks. But you know, only seeing one, I think it might be worth giving it another go for First Killer. Try shadowing a couple more times. See if OSM is going to be consistently flicking at that pace. As OSM hasn't had the most consistent flicks in recent time in 1v1 play. Definitely can be good, but it can also be unreliable at times. And we all know First Killer's strongest aspect of his defense is his shadowing. And his recycling of possession. Long shot counter attacks. Not the rush challenges, which are more synonymous with other players. Now, OSM's going to get a fifth goal, actually. He just shut down First Killer before First Killer can even get close to the net. And he will easily score from that range. 5-1, just over two minutes into the first game here. Now, OSM has always been a big, confident, or a, play a player that really relies on being confident in his ones matchups. This will be huge for him. First killer puts in a second goal, courtesy of a couple of panic jumps from OSM. Looks like he saw a bit of first killer's car in his camera there, and that's possibly what had him jumping for the ball. Although it was just first killer circling at the edge of the six-yard box. It looks like OSM had most of the goal covered there, but first killer comes in with a demo, grabs boost in the midfield. He's just going to shoot this one early. Good power on the shot. OSM can't get there. And First Killer's back within two goals. Good chance here for him to build a comeback out of this. The game hasn't looked too out of his reach so far. It's just been a couple of risky plays from First Killer. 
A couple of good plays from OSM that's been the difference. But now First Killer is starting to amp it up. He's back within one. And this is looking very much like the match yesterday. Or, uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, it was yesterday against Ixo. I'm trying to remember the timeline here. <laughs> yeah, indeed it was. Usually with these pre-recorded casts, I have to figure out was the actual timeline for me, the caster, the same as what it's going to be for you guys, the viewers? Well, this time it actually is, so I was right. It is yesterday. But there we go. I said ping in the sixth goal for himself, and now he gets a little bit of revenge here. First killer's been demoing him and bumping him around, but now he gets one of his own. Just over two minutes left in the game. Still no first killer. Having a better minute there than he did in the first two. An early shot by first killer. That was stuck by, and it's going to creep in as well. OSM thought that he had some time to play with after a bad landing. Just power slides in a position. But then one more power slide is not quite fast enough. I reckon if he half flipped and leaned to the right, he would have had a save. But the way that he's played it has not worked out. OSM kickoff goal, though, for his seventh goal of the game. And this has been a very, very high scoring match, especially considering the defensive capabilities of the first killer. You wouldn't expect to see seven goals past him already. OSM is really bringing his A-game in offense. Good landing by first killer in the back of the goal. OSM tries to go low, but that's a great read by first. Still though, all the boost being stolen by OSM. First killer said to back off all the way into the corner, and now here comes the crossover play by OSM. He's got first killer in a super awkward position, and that will be a goal. The lineup here for OSM, just absolutely perfect. He realizes which side of the goal first killer wants to shadow on, and he takes it to the other side. Completely wrong footing first killer. And he finds the top shelf. The top left corner was also wide open. Bottom right corner, low shot would have been difficult to save as well. It shows the power of that line of attack that OSM went for, but that's an open net miss though. Maybe a chance for first killer to start to come back. That really should have been a four goal difference. First killer launches a flick to the top corner. Loops back around and he's got some unreal power on that side flip shot. But OSM's equal to it. A minute and 10 seconds left. It's three goals in it with OSM in the lead. First killer accelerates the ball, looks for a low 50-50. He's straight back into position, boosting all the way, but the crossbar saves OSM this time. Still low all first killer for the last 30 seconds. Will he find a goal? Low 50-50. Gets past OSM, but in the wrong direction. And now only just under 50 seconds left. First killer over the top of OSM. I think he's done enough here. And that will be his sixth goal. And OSM's going to have to put in a solid kickoff here to avoid a nail-biting ending to the game. 44 seconds remaining. And it's a pretty good kickoff for OSM. First killer should be taking possession. But it's not going to be easy to recycle unless OSM takes himself completely out of the game. What on earth is this play by OSM? The ball chase. The low boost dive into the play has not worked at all. First killer back within one and over half a minute left in the game. And if OSM throws away this lead, he is not going to be feeling confident going to the next game. But that's actually a boost for OSM. How did he grab this one? It looked like first killer was going to get there first, but he might have gone over the top of the boost. And now OSM scores. And such a small margin has made such a huge difference. In this game, it looked like First Killer had OSM beat to the boost, but did he fly over it a little bit too high? It's now, with OSM taking the kickoff possession under control, the game is firmly in his grasp and absolutely his to lose. First Killer gets one goal past him, though, and that's a little bit careless by OSM. Misses on the ceiling shot play, and he has to be a little bit more careful now because with how volatile the kickoffs have been this game. A direct goal for First Killer is certainly on the cards. Five seconds for First Killer, and he's got the ball under control. OSM doesn't have a 100 boost. Fake challenge is successful, but First Killer's still there. Double challenge for OSM, secures the game. And although it's a close ending, he gets the job done. cracking start there for OSM. It was really the first two minutes that cemented that game for him. He got a good lead and he just barely managed to hold on to it. First killer looked a lot more lively in the second half of the game and he's brought that same life into this game. Very quick recoveries and into it. 
almost a double touch setup. He decided against it. Uh, this is the pace that First Killer is going to set for game two. OSM is going to have his work cut out for him, keeping up with him. And I swear, at times it just looks like First Killer's car moves faster than other Rocket League players, but he's not fast enough to escape OSM this time. Demo by the Swede straight down the middle of the pitch. OSM on the, the landing is able to catch First Killer 1 0 in game two. Like I said before, First Killer needs a win here to keep his dreams of a lore games appearance alive. He's of course relying on other results going in his favor at this point, but besides that, he has to try and win the series well, as if it does go into a tie situation. The win-loss differential in games will be the factor that decides who goes on to play against Fairy Peak, the lore games champion. For 20 on the clock, First Killer equalizes. Correction by OSM a little bit too close to First Killer's net that time. And it's about going for another demo. We've seen from this from him before. A heavy focus on demo play. It's done well for OSM in the past. Many people have referred to him as Demo OSM, but so far it's been a pretty even matchup in terms of aggression. Big challenge by First Killer. OSM almost fell for it. Puts himself in a little bit of an awkward spot by half going for the ball there. Looks like First Killer should be able to turn over the, the, the possession here. But look at that. OSM way up on the backboard. Smashes First Killer a second time. Just look at that awareness. He had to predict where First Killer was going to move. He wasn't even in vision without ball cam. But that's the awareness of OSM. So much practice sniping his opponents. Clean out the play. Double touch attempt saved by OSM. First killer looked like he was on point for that. Now for more fake challenges for first killer. Have backed up OSM to get a hundred boost. Accelerates the ball into a fast flick, but looks like OSM's got his number in that regard. And it's another demo. Three demos for OSM. Three goals. First killer's got to be more careful. He just keeps letting his guard down for a split second, and that's all OSM needs to sneak up to him and take him out of the game. Surely, First Killer will be more careful moving forward from here, but he's just missed a boost. OSM almost gets another goal, courtesy of the bump. Early dodge by First Killer. He's looking for the boost on respawn, but it's not up yet, and this time OSM's going to put in a goal without demoing his opponent. 4-1. First Killer completely in shambles at the start of game two. Reminiscent to last game, a three goal lead for OSM just as we get into the third minute of the match. It's about now that First Killer decided to show up in game one. He said to play that ball early. He wasn't sure if OSM was coming in for another demo play. <laughs> he gets another one after missing a challenge. It's the danger of leaving your car in same position as the ball was. If you're first killer there, you need to be so careful with how you position your car in the challenge. Decides to try and catch the ball on the landing, but now first killer's looking desperate. Every play is so rushed. And OSM has got some pretty good defense himself. <laughs> There's first killer's revenge. I think I've got a good idea how this game's going to go. First killer takes OSM clean out of the sky. He's had to fly pretty high for that one, my goodness. Two minutes and 18 seconds left. It's a two goal game, nowhere near as high scoring as the first match, but definitely just as explosive. OSM with the defensive posturing against First Killer's counter attacking style is really starting to frustrate First Killer. He's not getting as many chances as he wants in this matchup, but he's got another demo on OSM, no way. First Killer back within one. And I swear, at least six goals this game have involved, involved the demo. Maybe five. Gotta be at least five. Maybe I'm exaggerating with six. But First Killer puts in a third goal. And OSM's only ahead by a single goal. What's it gonna be now? OSM gets a bump onto first, and I don't think it was on purpose. 5 3. First Killer, if he wasn't tilted already, might be now. OSM misses the flick, but decides to continue boosting and smashes First Killer into the goal. No demo this time, but it may as well have been. As First Killer watches helplessly as the ball rolls over his goal line. He just needs to stay focused, stay calm. He's got plenty of time left to win this one. OSM is looking very good defensively, though. Unless First Killer can start baiting him out. 
It's not going to get any easy goals. Another demo for OSM. <laughs> Surely another goal as well. It is a sixth goal. And it's another one of these goals where First Killers just stopped looking where OSM is just for a moment and then regretted it as his car is smashed into smithereens. One minute and 28 seconds left. It's now First Killers starting to miss a flick and look for the bump. But he's running out of time. Just a few more goals for OSM would surely lock this game up and he's looking very prepared for this matchup. Another bump attempt by OSM on the back wall. He's got First Killer running for his life and although First Killer has avoided the death, still not an easy goal at the other end as OSM is back and able to save it. Good flick by OSM, early dodge to get the ball away from his opponent but now First Killer's got an open net, one which he's missed and OSM has got an open net at the other side which he will not miss. First Killer could have been back within two here but he's now got four goals to score unless he wants to lose two games in a row. And although the last game that we just saw between these two was close, one goal in it and an option to equalize right at the last second. The OSM demo plays have just ruined First Killer's momentum and really taking control. This has got to be the best that we've seen from OSM for a long time. He didn't have the best showing in the Manfield Night 5K, but this is more like what we expected from him in that tournament. Aggressive play, solid play, more consistent play. Definitely scary to go up against. Three goals in it, first killer back within that same margin that he ha had for most of the game. The only problem is that he doesn't have any time to play with now. First killer flip reset on the ceiling and a long range setup, but does he have the time left to win the game? You know, the long shot might look pretty hopeless there, but it was the only option that First Killer had if he wants to score enough goals before this game will time out for him. But GG, OSM takes game two. OSM is putting in a good performance in his debut in the four. Zedax, the sponsor of this tournament, are offering you custom-built PCs that will give good performances too. Get 5% off your gaming PC with discount code JOHNNYBOY, shipping worldwide. Let's go see if First Killer can reverse sweep. Just one more game needed for OSM. First Killer on the hunt for the reverse sweep. He did go all the way to game five against Ixo in his first match of the four. Well, it's not looking like this series is headed that way. If OSM can keep up his current form. Tricky flicks by OSM and First Killer's backflip to the goal line. And this has got to be the pressure getting to him. OSM has got him running all the way back into his goal. And instead of double jumping, First Killer's backflipped. Just holds on to that downward position of the joystick a moment too long. He should be equalizing here, and that's huge. He needs these goals, but OSM somehow saves it off his own post, and that's one of the best saves we've seen all tournament. Indeed, including the last installment of the four, OSM still backed off into a corner, but it looks like First Killer is prioritizing boost. Trying to find a way around OSM, but he's only found the crossbar. Still options for First Killer to play the demo route that we've been seeing from both these guys. He's the one with the boost. OSM for that entire play did not have any. First Killer is looking a bit rough here. OSM's definitely shaking him up a little bit. The clean plays. The consistent plays we were seeing versus Ixo are just a distant memory. What has happened to First Killer as he dives in and completely takes himself out of the game. Another good touch by OSM for a second goal in the match. Now, I don't think I made a prediction of this one before the match started, but I'll be honest with you guys, if I did, I would have put my money on First Killer after seeing how well he did against Ixo in his first match. And after seeing OSM struggle in his more recent 1v1 matches. But OSM is looking like he's returned to his best form and what a time to do it. Looking to sweep first killer and like I said these game win-loss differential could matter later on. Look at the control by OSM. First killer 
Just doesn't have a good answer for the flicks. And it's the approach once again for OSM, making it so difficult. He realizes which post far skiller's on, so he crosses over to the other side of the field, comes at him head on, says, you're not going to shadow this play. You have to challenge. And when you do, it is not going to work. 3-0 OSM, just turning every first killer possession play into an attack of his own. He's always on the hunt for those bumps on the back wall as well. Really, really sneaky play by OSM and such a dangerous position for first killer to be in for the rest of this series. Just knowing that OSM does like to go for bumps and demos in that position. Really damages first killer's counter-attack strategy because he can't drive up the wall and take the ball under control and then look for the fast transition into offense. But he is going to get his first goal of the game. And of course, it's courtesy of a demo. There's been so many of them in this series. And OSM this time on the receiving end. And he's ahead by two goals as we get into the final two minutes and 50 seconds of the match. Potentially the final two minutes and 50 seconds of the series, depending on how well first killer can do here. Uses the post of the goal to get up to this ball. Had a dual meaning there. First killer wanted to reach the ball as fast as possible, as efficiently as possible, but also as safely as possible. Didn't want to put himself underneath the ball. Because if OSM did go for a bump, that's where he would be. Half the game to go. OSM retakes control and absolutely smashes a long shot onto first killer's net. Takes his boost away while first killer's making the save. And OSM with a quick transition in field puts in a fourth goal. And that's how you play a boost advantage. No need for OSM to run all the way back into his half. He just spots the opening and he takes it. What does First Killer do from here? He's tried countering OSM's aggression with aggression of his own. The physical game has not worked. He's tried to challenge early against OSM's ball carrying. That has just been outplayed numerous times. And his counter-attacking style has ran into the brick wall of OSM's defense one too many times. Let's see if he can find a way to win this series from an almost impossible position. OSM, two goals to the good, two minutes remaining. First killer low on boost here. And OSM's tried to catch him on the landing. Looks like first killer is going to get a little bit of time to breathe with that clear. Is he going to panic and move out of position? Yes, he is. He knows he doesn't have all the time in the world for this series this game but he needs to be careful looks like he's gonna get a goal after a very very cheeky bump onto OSM this time he does nail the counter-attack but first killer is pushing the issue he's really forcing his way back into this game and if OSM sees that coming he can outplay him with soft first touches and flicks like he's been doing all series long good read on the mind game there by first killer and he's got a ton of power on the shot as well boost seal coming in OSM thinking about going to the far corner. First killer is going to keep him in net with more shots. He's just really not playing patiently at all right now as first killer. OSM's getting a lot of free turnovers because of it. Still a minute and nine seconds left for first killer to figure out this puzzle. And he's got options here. He doesn't have to play every single ball. He's got the time left to wait for a better opportunity. 50 seconds left. First killer will get a pretty free one as OSM gives it right back. And look at the recoveries of first killer. After getting bumped, he did not take too much time to get back into the play. The ball is definitely not sitting well for him in offense as OSM is able to keep that one away from him as well. Now we are getting into more desperate territory for first killer. 30 seconds left. Thinks about going for the rebound, but respects OSM's defense. Good fake challenge, though, by First Killer. Just going to give him one more chance down the middle. Not much boost to play with. Mind games it. OSM's got enough on the ball to, I think, get back into the recovery position in time. And he avoids First Killer's demo attempt, but First Killer's trying to shoot as early as possible. Messes up his turn. That huge understeer might have just ended the series for him, but oh my goodness, OSM's missed the open net. One more chance for first. The flick is on target. OSM's going to save that. No, he's not. He ran out of boost. And first killer ties the game. And you thought that OSM would have this, but he wasted his boost on a fake challenge. He didn't have any left. Then he collected on his way back to goal. And first killer 
is not yet out of this series. Still needs to win this overtime. But that's a good start. 21 boost on the kickoff. And he will win game three. OSM one second away from taking this game. But first killer locks it in. And we will go on to game four. Game four. This first killer tries to fight back against OSM. What a battle that fourth or that third game was. Really had to play a perfect final minute. And the flick at the end is just the cherry on top. And that might have woken up first killer. He's got OSM backed off. <laughs> There's the mind game. First killer opens the scoring. His OSM is way out of the game. And I love that because first killer didn't have to go for this. I reckon if he blasts that top shelf, probably going to be a goal either way. But he plays the mind game, not just to guarantee the goal, but also to get inside OSM's head a little bit. Continue this momentum in his favor. That's honestly one of the first times, I think it might be the first time that first killer has taken a lead in this series. Look at that save to start things off. It looks like the recovery is not quite there, though. OSM will tie things up. This was a great flick as well. You know, a good save by first killer but OSM's put him in a precarious position with that one and it will lead to the equalizer still remembering what first killer told me about his match against Ixo he said he was very impressed with the flicking and the ball control and the ability that Ixo had to consistently generate power from the dribbles but first killer's definitely doing a bit of that himself this game doesn't need to get a flick here for a lot of power just one into position and then side flips across the face of the ball to accelerate it straight forward. 2-1, first killer. Still his best start that he's had in any game this series. I think he trailed by three goals or two goals at least as he went into the second minute, third minute rather, of every other game. And OSM is looking pretty good in offense as well. He didn't waste any time with this shot. As soon as he gets that touchdown, he's already boosting towards the ball. So you can get it across the face of the goal as fast as possible. It's sounded a lot like game one so far. So many goals. First killer lobs one high. Thinks about going for this and he will. Double touch is on. First killer going to be intercepted though by an OSM who's recovering fast down the middle. Not fast enough to get the goal though. That might still be an open net for OSM. Indeed it will be. As first killer comes in sideways to a challenge and gets absolutely crushed in the process. I don't know about that line of attack for first killer. It's gotta be at least a bit more goal side. He had the advantage in terms of speed there. So he didn't have to make the challenge. A fake would have been pretty successful as well, I'm sure. Boost seal for first killer. OSM threatening a long shot. We'll back him up. It's not the best first touch by first, but OSM decides not to put in a challenge. Almost concedes that was a goal if first killer was able to hit the target. Another boost deal for first killer. He's got OSM back in defense. And OSM is actually boost starved right now. I wasn't sure if he was going to be when I switched to his POV there. So he could have been managing it a little bit better than that. But by the way things are going right now, it looks like OSM is still going to have a goal lead going into the third minute. And it's going to be a two goal lead. Blasts a shot to the top right corner. That's first killer with way... Too much boost wasted as he goes into the corner. He had 70 boost when he left the ball there. Just so he could use 50 to reach the corner and take himself out of position. It's definitely an over-reliance on boost at the moment. It's one thing to control it. It's another thing to let the boost control you. First killer puts in a third goal. This was a fantastic touch to get the ball past OSM. He needed to dodge exactly the way he did if he was going to reach that ball before his opponent and also get it past him and land well that's a lot of boost used on the kickoff for first killer one which he loses OSM in the lead by two and into the third minute we go looking a lot like game three still definitely OSM looking like the player more likely to come out with a win today first killer is going to have to tighten things up in defense if he's going to take this game like he did the last Mind game by first killer, and it's a successful one. 
And he faded away from this ball at the perfect time. OSM trying to put a challenge in, made multiple contacts on the ball. It looks like first killer, red and well, able to follow through with the shot on target. One goal in it. Still such a close series. This has every series been so far in the four, except the one sweep, I believe, that we had between Flakes and Kronobi. Going to be having these tournaments every two weeks. And at least two new players every time. First killer puts in the equalizer. What happened to OSM in this play? He decided to continue aggressing with zero boost and really didn't get in a goal side position on that 50-50 at all. It just goes straight over to side. It didn't really look like First Killer struggled too much or had to fight too much for that equalizer. Flies down into position. OSM almost misreads his play. It looks like OSM crushes First Killer in this 50-50. Now he's going to take his boost and look for a goal as the ball centers itself. Shot from OSM over the crossbar. First killer trying to stay with it. Boost is respawning soon, but he doesn't want to get there too early. He just times it to perfection. What a read by first. He knew that it was going to be spawning just as he was leaving the boost area. You see the confidence. He was moving away even before the boost had spawned. Now we're still all tied up. First killer. Temporarily open net. OSM dives in front of it and misses the ball. And just like that, First Killer's back in front. I think OSM had a little bit too much respect for First Killer in this play. He thought the first was going to get to the ball faster. Went for a block. The slower approach of First Killer reached the ball at the perfect time. He's playing the ball across his back wall pretty consistently now, his First Killer, just to avoid the bumps that. The demos that OSM's been looking for in that near post position is working really well. Another crushing 50-50. OSM with a heavy, heavy touch there. If he wants to bait first killer in, well, you can do the heavy touch, but you want to be doing a slightly lighter touch, I would say. Get the challenge to come in and then follow through with a flick or a touch or something. But now it's starting to look like OSM's the one who's tilted. He's just missed the ball and it's 8-5 to first killer. Five goals in a row. OSM just lets it roll by. And with a minute and six seconds left, he's got to be scratching his head a little bit, wondering what happened. He almost had the game. The series won in a sweep just five minutes ago. And now he's about to be going to game five. Strong flick for OSM. Off target, though. And he's landed very far forward. First killer does a lap for a couple of pads. Just enough to get into the crossbar saving area. Of course, every second that goes off the clock now is going to help First Killer significantly. That's not a good clear, though. OSM thinks about shooting, decides to bring it down. It's not a great first touch, but he's got more. And OSM will sidewinder into the bottom right corner. After initially miscontrolling this, did a really good job to get First Killer on the wrong foot. It looked like OSM might have to settle for a low 50-50 or a mind game. But he manages boost to perfection. First killer. Another fake as OSM backs off. Another fake. This time, not anywhere near as effective as the one that he got earlier in the game. OSM takes the ball under control with 20 seconds left. He's got the bounce dribble working quickly. First killer steps in. Gets a touch. OSM still circling the edge of the box. Surely he's going to score. And there it is. One goal game with nine seconds left. It's a complete roll reversal from game three. Can OSM equalize before the clock hits zero? Not with that kickoff. This first killer waits in the middle. Fires a shot on net. And that might be the game. Actually, OSM takes it under control. He doesn't have much boost, but that is one beautiful flick. Double jump from first killer. Secures the game, though. And we will decide this series in game five. Last chance for OSM and First Killer. And out of the two of them, First Killer is the one who needs this more. OSM, after such a strong start, could really use this well if he wants to control his own destiny in his attempt to qualify for the lore games. 
Cars Killer can no longer do that. He needs somebody to beat Ixo for him after he lost to Ixo. I'm sure right now he is fully focused on this game. How good would a reverse sweep feel against OSM? It's been a very aggressive matchup between these two. Plenty bumps and demos. OSM is the one who gets the first realistic opportunity. He's got first killer facing him head on. And that's going to be a bit too high into the bar for OSM. First killer has got his boost stolen though. He's trying to dodge into position and take it. But OSM is going to be the one controlling the play at least for a while. If he can stay away from the demo attempts. First killer is trying to catch him in the landing. Multiple jumps for OSM. Stay away from him. I'm sure at this point they're both well aware that the bumps are going to be a huge part of this game. And this series, they already have been. Muscular looking for more mind games and more demos on the exit. It's a great touch by OSM. First killer actually misses the catch. And he exclaims no in the quick chat. Because although this was a pretty heads up play for first killer to realize he had time to catch that ball, it's so risky to do so. Of course, he's thinking the maximum possible win in that situation. Catch the ball, start the counter attack as fast as he could. He's probably wishing he just played it safely, and that's a good save. His first killer somehow recovers with a hundred boost as well. Exquisite defending. OSM's gonna air dribble into the top corner for the second goal. And those are gonna be pretty tough to stop. Good acceleration of the ball by OSM. He's actually blocking first killer's saving angle pretty well also. First killer would have probably had to go off his own post to get a save there. And just like every other game this series, OSM manages to control the first two minutes. What a stop by first killer. These recoveries as well. So, so impressive. But OSM has also recovered fast and backed up first killer one more time. It's Almost another top corner shot for OSM. His first killer jumps and turns around a couple times in the corner. He's just trying to get a chance to score right now. It's been all OSM with the boost control and with the offensive pressure. He's just going to keep on firing at first killer's net. Now OSM could have gone for a rebound there. He respected first killer's defense too much to try. His first killer swoops in for another demo attempt. OSM shows him how it's done. Still 2 0 with half the game gone. First killer. Nothing to show for his work so far. Except a couple of good saves. Now his best chance yet. Flicks it straight into OSM. OSM is just backflip to avoid a bump from, o from first killer. But first killer is the quicker of the two to recover. And now he scores his first goal of the game. It's a pretty heads up play by OSM to backflip there, avoiding first killer's bump attempt. But. He took a bit too long to reach the ball afterwards. And it would be good to see a close ending to this match. I think an overtime is deserved at this point. First killer let his guard down a little bit there. OSM decided not to go for a demo though. And now first killer looking for a quick counter attack down the middle. Gets shut down. OSM with a huge dunk. Scores his third goal. It's first killer looking to dribble in field. He wants to get this counter attack started on the far side. But OSM reads him like a book, and that is going to be two goal difference with under two minutes left. First killer's not had many options in this last game to score. And first killer with a kickoff loss should be conceding, but OSM's missed another open net. What is happening? First killer gets away with what surely should have been another goal for OSM. But on the counter attack, all he's able to do is air dribble it straight into. The goal line area that OSM can save. He avoids the bump though. Recovery is good, but not good enough for first killer. So OSM stays in the middle of the field, refuses to leave. And I think first killer's just missed his open net chance. This is just awful accuracy by both players in the final game. Could have been a one goal game there for first killer. He's not going to get an easier goal, surely, in the final minute. Unless OSM. Continues to be over aggressive. Oh my goodness, first killer tries to catch the ball in the goal line. He says he hit it, but he waited a bit too long. 
Oh, SM says, yeah, you did. Well, I know from personal experience that sometimes you hear the noise of the hit, but it still crosses the goal line. I don't know if that's just server lag or a delay on the actual mechanic of the ball crossing the goal line compared to the visual. But either way, first killer trails 4-1. And he really only has himself to blame after that open net miss. OSM's controlled the majority of game five. He's had more chances. He's taken more chances. And now with a 5-1 lead, surely he'll be locking up this game and moving on undefeated in the tournament, leaving first killer with no series wins, despite the fact that he's won four games in the two series that he's played. A really, really crazy last game here. Open net misses. First killer letting the ball cross the goal line by accident. And who knows? Maybe it's not over just yet. First killer's got 20 seconds to find three goals. Don't remember the last time I saw three goals in the final 20 seconds of a match, but I have certainly seen three goals in 20 seconds in 1v1 plenty times. But OSM is looking just too good in this last game. The best pressure play that we've seen from him out of any in this entire series he hardly gave first killer a look at it and first killer is going to drive out of position and let a sixth goal in he already knows it's over with the kickoff going against him and he'll have to just accept the loss here osm off to a good start in the series and also had a good finish first killer had the middle but it just wasn't enough and he now goes 0-2 in the league osm 1-0 OSM joins Ixo at the top of the table, and controls his own path in the fight to first. For first killer, after a second loss, relegation seems inevitable. Thanks once again to ZDAX for sponsoring this tournament. Be sure to check them out to get your own truly customizable PC with a lifetime service warranty. Get a 5% discount with the offer code JOHNNYBOY. Thank you all for watching today. I am your host, Brian. Come back tomorrow to see OSM Challenge Flakes.